your master calculations of material? This is my non-erasable Sharpie board. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness that this wall we can either paint over. What are we doing? Are we going to leave this the way it is? Well, we are just toying with the idea of taking down the rest of the interior walls to just re-insulate ah! everything. <laughs> Oh my god. So the walls are like 60% down in, in the entire house, so what's the rest 40%? We can put better insulation into the walls. Well, so. what's the rating right now on, on these insulation? Because this is plaster, right? A plaster wall, yeah. So what's the insulation rating on it? We have like a five, if that. Really? With a brick wall. So we're kind of going to freeze to death in the winter? A little bit. <laughs> okay, awesome. No, I think that it makes sense. What I don't like is if we're bringing in new sheetrock and then we have the um, we have the existing walls matching it up. I think that's a problem. And also, we've taken down like most of the walls as far as sheetrock. I mean, what's the rest of it? Yeah. It's like a difference of how much do you think? Cost-wise? Yeah. It's probably a difference of like three or four thousand. Okay. But I think that it makes sense in this situation, like you go through and you spend all this money and honestly, the exterior walls, it's going to help with our heating bill, right? Yeah. So we gone this far, we might as well just yeah. get another dumpster. Number four. Fourth dumpster, guys. Fourth dumpster. It's crazy. Let me tell you something. Mama's working hard for dumpsters. I feel like, you know, like people work hard for shoes and they're like, mama's working to get those shoes. No, I'm working for dumpsters. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Dumpster guy. Dumpsters. Oh man. No, but I think it makes sense because we're going to put new windows in. That's going to help with the heating. I want the house to be healthy and I want it to be heated well. It's going to be great for us, but also for, you know, anybody else ever. Yeah. I mean, it lasted 50 years, this 60 something years already, but it's, times have changed and we have better technology. Yeah. Plus so. the house is Swiss cheese and the heating bill is kind of crazy. I mean, granted it's Swiss cheese, but... That is true, the, bill, the heating bill was high. It was high, so it's like, and that was before we took out most of the walls. Right. So you can't imagine that it's gonna be that much less, and also we're vaulting the ceiling, which is, I mean, granted we're gonna- heat. Yeah, we'll reduce heat there. Oh my goodness. So we're at the point right now that we are um, ordering materials because we are gonna start vaulting the ceiling. We have our permits, and we are going to um, start vaulting the ceiling, which is kind of like, oh, Kind of scary. Let's just hope we don't kill ourselves. Yeah, these trusses are gonna be pretty amazing. A lot big. of weight. Yeah, a lot <laughs> of weight. So. And then we're gonna put in the floor too. So we have to order the hardwood for the floor. We're gonna actually try to match up what's going on in the three existing or one large bedroom as of right now because there's no walls. Right. So I think what size floor do we have in there? We have about it's two and a quarter oak. Uh, so we're gonna try and get get the same stuff and put that down. Right, and I know a lot of people um, really love a, a wide plank, and I love a wide plank too. Sean actually loves a smaller plank, but in this situation, it's a mid-century type of house that we're working on. A wide plank wouldn't make sense here, and sometimes people do the injustice of putting what's like, you know, a fad or what's current sometimes and going too much in a direction that it veers away from the house style. Right. I just like to stay consistent. If you have two and a quarter, don't no, put I agree with five you. inch plank. Just keep it all two and a quarter and right. keep it. I'm in agreement. I it. We like clean, we like seamless, so this is gonna lend itself to that. Now the finish of the floors though are That's up, up in the to air. You. Yeah, I'm, well I'm not gonna go just FYI. You have total I'm, control. Oh, right, that, that he gives me as the As long as they're not purple. I mean, a good eggplant goes a long way, babe. Not, not Barney. Not on the floor. I'm just saying, it may not be in this setting, but I don't mind an eggplant wood floor. Okay. Could be amazing. A little pickling going on. What? Okay. <laughs> I would probably say that in the flooring wise, we might end up going um, somewhere in the midpoint. I'm, I'm debating whether I want to go kind of like a warm brown with other tones in it, or if I want to go a little bit lighter actually. Um, when you go super dark, I think you see everything. And a lot of clients who have gone super dark, probably in the early 2000s, they hated it because every dog hair, every whatnot, and we have a little Maddox and Nixie. Yeah, gonna be running around. So, 
So, so next on the agenda would be stay tuned for videos of trusses going in. Oh my God, and the master bathroom is gonna get started on because we also got that permit. So all of that material, the plumbing fixtures and whatnot should be here probably next week. This is Christmas weekend. That's how much we love you. We are, we are videoing instead of cooking, or I'm cooking. I won't be cooking. He won't be cooking, but he still has some gifts to buy. Yes, I do. Did you buy my gift yet? Uh, she doesn't get gifts. This is it. 